All right, with this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, making this leaf form that you see here with using some basic tools, uh, in particular the extrude, the loft tool, fillet, and then adding in some primitive shapes there to make the um, buttons that you see uh, on the sides. Uh, let me run quickly through how this was constructed, just to give you a heads up on all this. So we're going to start off by doing an extrude form um, that'll make our basic shape there. We'll then come in and cut away the top part to give a sculpted form. I still extrude there. Then we'll add in our series of fillets that kind of soften up the ends and the sides like that. Um, the loft that's right through the middle, just a little cross section, and we'll actually use an existing edge there to, for the path. And then finally we add in the uh, sphere, uh, which is going to be our buttons and size it. And then this is a whole series of just movement, uh, moving it around, putting it in the right place and all with this. Um, and then finally on the bottom side of this there's the detail for the clip so we'll start by getting the overall shape softening up some rounds and then cutting out the little detail that's down below like that and then finally adding a final set of fillets right there all right if you want to follow along um, there is the pendant e leaf uh, folder there and then you can open up the pendant leaf start um, file all right so that's what it should look like so let's go through and start creating this form. First off is using extrude tool. Uh, make sure you select both profile shapes there on that sketch. Uh, distance up is going to be uh, five millimeters. And then we're going to also do the uh, two-sided so that we can actually go down as well. And that will be 1.5 millimeters. Okay, so that kind of completes that basic shape there. Next, let's go to the next sketch here turn on this one called sketch top cut go back to the um, extrude tool okay right there or E and this time we'll select that profile and as we start pulling it out it'll automatically switch to the cut operation because it sees something else there which is what we want um, once again we'll do two sides with this and pull it out doesn't matter how far out you pull it as long as it goes beyond the existing form there and then for each one of these we're going to add an angle this one is going to be minus four degrees um, and this is going to be minus six once again just to kind of give some interest to the form that you see there and just make sure everything once again cuts all the way through all right so it takes care of that shape now we add in the fillets that's underneath the modify menu the fillet uh, we'll start off by picking the two ends notice when you come down here you can pick through um, so if I start it with edges it knows you will probably keep with edges and for this one it's going to be actually five millimeters to finish off the, the ends and then for the top and bottom type F to go to the shortcut you notice when I pick this um, you need to probably come around here and pick the other side and same thing on the bottom and on the back side of this and let's see if we can go ahead and start adding to this now it ended up jumping, well we'll do two separate, so 1.5 is the foot radius, okay, hit OK, type F again, and we can do it on the bottom side, and this one does go ahead and select the whole thing, and 1.5 for that as well, okay, so that's how you can soften up a form by adding the um, fillets to it. Next sketch is this um, view detail or vein detail excuse me should it say there um, so I just got a little bitty uh, elliptical cross section there and so the tool we're going to use is actually swept so if you look underneath the create menu look for swept it requires two inputs one is the cross section or the profile shape which is that and the second is the path which can be another sketch in this case we're actually going to use this edge that's through there now Initially, this will not work because the fillet here going around that is a little bit more complex. So you can grab these arrows and pull them back, and it should snap right there. There we go. Um, I'm actually jumping around. Let's see if we can pull it up to the end there. Okay. And I go to this end, do the same thing there, pull it back. Okay. Once again, it defaults to. Um, cutting because of the existing form that's there. So we'll switch this operation to join so it'll become part of the existing form that's there. Alright, looks pretty good. Go ahead and hit OK to that. Alright, 
right? So that's that vein detail along there with the swept tool. Next um, is the primitive for the button. So let's go to the create menu. So through this series here, these are all primitive forms that um, usually don't require um, a sketch to build from. So we'll start with the sphere. What you need to do is give it the plane you want to build on. So we'll use this one. And we'll click to the top view and we'll just put this up in this area. I'll start here for this one. So with this, it's mainly uh, a diameter you specify. Three millimeters works well for this. We just hit OK to that. All right, now it's a matter of moving this. You can click on the existing geometry, um, right mouse click, and say you want to move or copy. Okay, so for this one, you just want to move. Now this jack has basically ability to move relative to the axis with the arrows, move in a plane there, or also rotate. So I'll start off by moving in this plane to kind of get it into the form. I'll use the arrow to move, pull it up, kind of center it between those two um, lines. And then finally, I'll use the arrow to push it back into the form and then up a little bit more as well. There we go. Okay, so that's the initial way to put it in a button. Now that I got it in, I want to make copies and use it again uh, for these other uh, sides. So I'll actually do it by copy and paste. I go to my um, bodies folder. I'm going to name this just so I know it's different. Button. Right mouse click on it. Say I want to copy it. Right mouse click on the folder and then you can paste it in. It'll go in exactly where it came from. So I'll grab that plane, slide it down, um, move it in. Okay, and if need me, move it up or down or in as well. Let me do that and push it in just a hair to make sure it's inside of those lines. A little bit more up and down. All right, good. So that's one. And one more, right mouse click, and say paste. And this one will pull all the way across to the other side. We'll swing around to the other side and push in. Looks about the same size. Maybe go just in a little bit further. And eh, pretty good up and down. Let me just a touch. Alright, there we go. So those are uh, details with regards to the buttons that um, will do the um, inter interface part of this. Finally, the last set of details is the uh, clip on the bottom side. So let me click on that uh, sketch to bring it active and swing around to the bottom side. Now this is one we're going to do an extrude. So the problem is it's hard to actually select that um, profile in there. So temporarily I'm just going to go to my bodies folder, turn off that uh, visibility, select that um, uh, profile, and then I'm going to go back and turn my bodies profile on. And the distance for this is about minus 3.4. So you can see you have negative values in here to um, with this as well. Now, I don't want to, um, once again, cut this. I want to switch the operation to join. Okay, so that'll take care of that part. That's good. Need to start softening up. Type F to bring up the fillet tool. Click on that edge. This fillet um, radius would be anything, probably Initially, it's like 0.75, let's say. Okay, for that. All right, that's good. Now, one more detail, and that is the um, sketch here to cut this out. Okay, so once again, it's using the extrude tool. Select the profile, pull it across. That's exactly what we want. Um, this one, I'll do symmetry, just to show you that part of our operation. And so, basically, if you adjust one side, adjust the other when you symmetry turned on. All right, kind of same as just our two distances, but uh, you don't have to worry about setting the other one. All right, and that's that final um, extrude. And finally, a fillet to kind of soften up the form. Now, on this one, I'm going to pick several edges here. So I'll pick the one in the middle, these two outside edges there, and then also this one. Okay. Now, the overall fillet diameter is going to be, or radius is going to be limited by this. So notice as I pull out, it gets so far and it actually stops. Um, but, um, so it's about 0.234 is what the distance is. But it does kind of soften up the form there and underneath.
like this as well. All right, and that's about it. So let me go to the home position, just show you the final form with uh, what we created here.